What is up, Five Pod King Carter's channel? This is MoTheFo16, your favorite sports commentator here on YouTube. And today, I am bringing a first to iPod King Carter's channel, MLB 12 The Show. This is the game that I predominantly play on my channel. However, when NCAA, when Madden, and when NBA 2K13 drop, I will also be showing those. But in the meantime, baseball is my main sport. And this is the first year player draft for my MLB 12 The Show franchise with the New York Mets. And I scouted a couple people, and I'm going to sign the first couple people that I chose in the draft. And then we're going to get quickly into the gameplay. This is a very exciting game. It's against the New York Yankees. And, you know, I got this option right here, but you know I got to fly. I mean, come on. <laughs> um, anyway, I'm a current member of Game Face Studios. You may recognize me already. I post the Cubs Fantasy Draft season on there. It's a great series. I'm having a lot of fun with it. And with the likes to dislikes ratio, you guys are having a lot of fun with it also. So I'm just kind of messing with my lineup right here, trying to find the best lineup possible to beat Ivan Nova and the New York Yankees today. This is the Subway Series, third game of the series. We are looking to avoid the sweep today, and we're going to go to Yankee Stadium. Here is our lineup, and so let's get into it. Counting down to first pitch here in the Bronx. Get ready. It's the Subway Series. Mets and Yankees next. So before I even start talking about the gameplay, as you can see, Ivan Nova is the pitcher. He's having a down season with a high ERA, but who knows, against a team like the Mets, he could really bring that down today. But before I even start talking about the gameplay, I would really like to thank iPod King Carter for this opportunity for me. Um, the date that I'm recording this commentary, which is the 6th of July, I am about at 550 subscribers. But you know, by the time this gets posted, I don't know how many I'll have. But anyway, Roy Oswald is on the hill for us today. And obviously, Ivan Nova's on the hill for them as Derek Jeter grounds out right back to Oswald right there for the first out of the game. But then with two outs, the Yankees kind of put together a rally. A base hit up the middle by Robinson Cano. And basically, that was the igniter for the inning. Because following that, Curtis Granderson would draw a walk. That was an 11-pitch walk. He had a lot of patience and fouled off a lot of balls. And then that set this all up for Alex Rodriguez to go deep opposite field. And he hits a home run about 15 rows back. That was an absolute bomb by Alex Rodriguez. And he's going to cross the plate very happily right there and give his teammates some high fives. And so the Yankees are out to an early 3 to nothing lead. As you can see right there, he got all of that one. And then finally, with two outs, Mark Desher is going to ground out to the first baseman, Lucas Duda. And so that will end the first frame, but not before the Yankees put up a three spot and put the Mets in a huge hole. And so here's Josh Tolley, and he's going to drive one to deep left field. Granderson is going to dive, but he's going to miss it. And so Josh Tolley is going to have a double. That is the first hit for the Mets today. And hopefully it'll be the start of a rally. We could really use one. But then Yvonne Rodriguez is going to ground out to the shortstop, Derek Jeter. And so that is going to end the inning. And so Yvonne Nova gets out of the inning unharmed. And so that'll bring us to the bottom of the second inning, where Oswald is kind of settling down. He strikes out Nick Squisher, and then following that, he strikes out Andrew Jones. And so the first two batters are sent down. But then here in the bottom of the third inning, the Yankees kind of putting together the same rally they did in the bottom of the first inning. Cano is on with a two-out single. And then following that, Curtis Granderson in, with an 0-1 count. Another base hit into left field, just past the extended glove of Ruben Tejada. And so that's going to bring up A-Rod once again with another chance to hit a home run. 2-0 count, but this time he pops it up. Lucas Duda calling everyone else off. And so he will make the catch. And so that will end the third inning, and the score is still 3 to nothing. The Yankees are still winning, but the Mets... They got out of a huge jam, and so then with a runner on first, David Wright is going to walk, and so the first two runners of the inning are on base, and so that brings up Lucas Duda. He has a chance to do a lot of damage, but he's just going to ground out into the 3-6-1 double play, 
And so that is the first two outs of the inning. He is very disappointed with himself. And then Vladimir Guerrero, he's going to line out to right field. He made great contact, but it was just to the right fielder. And so the inning is over. And so then with one out in the fourth, Swisher's going to drive one to deep right field. It's going to hit off the wall on a bounce. But because the carom was good, he is not able to go to second for a double. And then with one out, Andrew Jones striking out again for the second time on the game. And then Russell Martin also going to strike out one pitch, two pitches, and then the third pitch is just as bad. That was a terrible at-bat by Russell Martin. He looked completely fooled the entire at-bat. And so we get out of the other, another inning. And so we're here in the fifth inning now. And that's a deep drive into center field. Granderson going back at the wall. But he's going to make the catch on the warning track. And so once again, we are held scoreless through five innings now. But then in the sixth, Ruben Tejada is up. And he's going to get a base hit right back up the middle. Well, let's see if this can be the start of a rally now. We could really start using one. It is the sixth inning already. But then Daniel Murphy. That's not going to help. It's going to be a 4-6-3 double play. And so that's going to end the inning. And so we're here in the sixth inning. It's still a 3-0 game. And, it's a, and that is a great pitch by Roy Oswalt. Getting Mark Teixeira looking. And then Nick Swisher. Ground ball to shortstop. He's going to go the easy way to second base to get the third out. And so that is going to end the inning. But now here's Lucas Duda in the bottom of the seventh inning with one out. A deep drive into left field. It is off the wall. Duda's going to have at least a double, but he's going to head for third. He's putting on the afterburners, and he is safe into third base with a one-out triple. But oh boy, with the Mets' luck, Lucas Duda is injured. He looks like he's in very bad pain. He would have to come out of the game. And so I'm going to pinch run Andres Torres right here. And I got a very sad message after the game. He died. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. He is at one to two months with a broken forearm. That is a big loss for us considering we have Johan Santana and Jason Bay on the DL already. But right here, we get the first run of the game on a sacrifice fly. So I guess that is something positive that came out of the at-bat. But then following that, Ivan Rodriguez gets into one to deep left field. But a great catch by Raul Ibanez. And that is going to end the inning. But luckily, we do strike for a run. And we cut the lead down to 3-1. to one. And so then here in the bottom of the seventh inning, Russell Martin is going to draw a one-out walk. And then Derek Jeter following that. A base hit down the left field line. This is going to be a double. And so it's going to be second and third with one out. And so the Yankees are looking to put some more runs on the board here in the seventh inning. And so I'm going to take out Roy Oswald right here. And I'm going to bring in the righty, DJ Carrasco. But with a 3-2 count to Ibanez, he's going to single up the middle. And this is going to score a pair of runs. And so it is a 5-1 to one game. And pretty much that put the game out of reach for us. But then with one out, Granderson's going to ground out into the double play. And so that is going to end the inning and end the rally. But they do strike for two more runs, so we are in a four-run hole now. But then in the eighth with one out, six, four. But Robinson Cano drops the ball, so they can only get one out on the play. And so can we do anything with that? And of course not. <laughs> Ground out to second base is going to end the inning. And so once again, we do not strike for any runs. We only have one run on the day. And so a base hit right back up the middle. Mark Teixeira is on base right now. That was a base hit off of Frank Francisco, our setup man. But then with two outs, Andrew Jones striking out again. The third time he struck out today, he is having an awful day at the plate. And so then in the top of the ninth inning, David Wright is up. And he's going to lead it off with a single into left field. And so the leadoff single, nobody out. Hopefully we can get another run or four. We need four runs to tie the game. But then Justin Turner lines out to right field for the first out of the inning. And then following Justin Turner, Vladimir Guerrero's up. That's going to be a ground ball to the shortstop. Jeter throws to second on to first, but Vlad is safe at first. He got his foot just before the throw. But then with two outs, and then Josh Tolley into left center field. Derek Jeter dives, but he cannot make the catch. 
And so we're going to have runners on first and second. That might be the first time all day we have runners. We've had two runners on base. But then Pudge Rodriguez. Ground ball to Derek Jeter. He'll go the easy way to record the final out. Final score is 5-1. to one, And that's unfortunate. But we lose. We get swept by the Yankees. And so that's it, guys. Modifo 16 signing out. If you've watched this entire video, good for you. Uh, thumbs up to you. Uh, so anyway, like this video, follow me on Twitter, at Modifo16, and just in case you're wondering, I'll be getting a new mic soon, so by the time this video gets posted, I may have a new microphone. Please check. <laughs> but anyway, guys, I hope you have a great day, and see you guys on my channel. Thanks. Peace.